my bike. Yeah, buddy. Woohoo! I love it when that happens. It never happens. But it happens. Yeah. Lots of fucking construction. I remember causing shit in the bush back there when I was a kid. And now the bush is gone. I remember the one time I, uh, I was with my buddy and I fucking made a joke. Um, there was a bunch of fences and houses. We were in the bush playing around. And uh, you know, I made the joke and there's a log sitting there. And I said, fuck, I'm gonna throw that log in that pool over there. And uh, I'll show you the pool in a second. I'm coming by it. This used to be all fucking bush. You can see where they cut and put shit in. Um, it was this house right here. See, they got a pool in the back. The, uh, I made the joke there's this big log and I was like, oh, I'm going to throw that log in the pool. And I was a little kid, I was probably 12 years old or so. And uh, my buddy's like, no, don't throw the log. What about you just throw a rock? And for some reason when he said, just throw the rock, I was like, okay, I'm going to do it. And it was a complete joke, but I fucking, sure enough, being stupid as hell and a kid, I uh, grabbed a hold of that rock and it was a big rock too. Like it was a, it wasn't a, it wasn't a pebble. Um, and I just friggin' launched her over the fence and right into the pool. Blue shit. Oh my oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> it's just perfect hit. And uh, we started fucking running and all we hear is hey! <laughs> this big manly voice. Oh my god. It, I can tell you the fear, when you get that fear in you um, that you've done something wrong, especially when you're a good kid and you actually give a fuck, um, you get that fear in you that, uh, shit, I've done something wrong and I'm going to get caught for it. That adrenaline rush, man. We hightailed it out of there. We ran to that school that's being constructed. Uh, we hightailed her out of there. We ran as fast as we could, and I made it probably to where the school was being built, like through the bush, and I was in great shape as a kid. Like, I was, you know, I was thin, and I was in good shape. I was always playing, but I could never run for the life of me. I always got tired out uh, really quick, and uh, the guy uh, comes at me, and uh, he finally catches us at the school, and uh, he says, uh, what the hell are you doing? And he was going nuts. And we knew we were in so much shit, right? And uh, he says, who's your father? And this was a time where kids had respect, right? So I was like, oh, shit, I'm going to have to bring him to my dad because I'm going to get my ass kicked by this old dude because like, he's, he's got us, right? So I said my dad's name because I recognize this guy. I said, do you know my dad's name? I said it. And he says, he looks at me and he goes, David, what the fuck are you thinking? And I just said, I wasn't thinking. Oh my God, he brought me to my dad. He was my dad's good friend um, from way back. Uh, he gave me so much shit. He brought me back to my dad's. And uh, it was one of those things when you're a kid, you know, you fucking... Lessons get learned, you you know, you try to push your boundaries and do things and then you get caught, you get in trouble and I never did it again, you know, never happened again. I would never do it again, I learned my lesson, uh, I was scared shitless, I got in trouble for it, I lost the to Nintendo for the weekend and I had to apologize to him, which was the worst because I had to go up to him and actually after things cooled down and then apologize and that, you know, it showed me how to take responsibility for my actions and it was, uh, it was one of those moments in life you'll never forget. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that story. Uh, it was pretty funny to me as a kid. But uh, anyway, guys, uh, not funny. It was pretty fucking scary, I should be, should be honest. Anyway, talk to you guys later. Struck us out.